All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is HD StarCraft, and I am back for Game 3, the final rubber match here between Scarlet and Bomber. Bomber is a blue Terran player at the top left-hand corner of the map. Scarlet is a red Zerg player in the top right-hand corner of the map. The map here is a new map, once again, here for Red Bull Battlegrounds. It is called Habitation Station. And uh, yet another map that I have actually not seen yet. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a quick virtual tour. We do have the natural expansion down here. We, it's kind of an interesting little like energy field going around the geysers. It's like an extra beacon of light in case you can't find the gas. Well, here it is. So um, there it is like a nice little light here. And down over, if you go all the way down to the low ground, we have a little bit of vegetation out here. So it's not a completely sterile map. Uh, you know, it, there is some life here, and it's kind of cool. It's like a little jungle-fied map um, with some um, with this little interesting uh, arcing thing at the bottom. That's what you see on the mini map. You know, those little dots. So uh, it's a, kind of a cool map here, and I like the little jungle feature because I, I, I really do like maps where you have different tile sets overlaid on top of one another. It's kind of a Brood War thing because back in the days of Brood War, you couldn't you could not actually um, do that in the map editor, have different tile sets. So it's really cool in StarCraft 2 when you see something like that. Uh, we do have a proxy barracks coming up from Bomber, a la Game One, Red Bull Battlegrounds logo here in the in the six o'clock position, and uh, towards the middle of the map, you know, it seems like a really open map. If there's ever a map here where Zerg can take advantage of things, I think this is the one to do it on. Although it is a 1v1 map, I believe. It's not a two, it's not a four-player map. It is a 1v1 map. And so it's interesting because both players here have kind of, wow, double proxy barracks. Both players spawn near each other and you have these gold expansions in the center. Um, this certainly is an interesting map. I'm not too sure what to think about it because it seems like Terran can drop really easily. Um, you know across this empty vast space, but at the same time if the game gets into the late game I think Zerg will have a pretty big advantage here because it's so wide open So uh, we'll just see what happens also the gold expansion here I would imagine it's gonna definitely definitely be advantageous here for uh, Terran uh, Because you know they can take the gold they can actually set up siege tanks here or something and then have a hovering unit to siege out the expansion over here so um, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, very, very stoked here. As once, as as you guys know, once again, I am back from my hiatus, casting more StarCraft 2 for you guys. I will be casting a ton of matches this month, so do stay tuned. We do have some Zerglings coming out here for Scarlet, and uh, she actually saw those SCVs and those Marines, so she, I think she knows here that something's up. Plus, if she didn't know already, she has an Overlord over here in the top left-hand corner, so she sees that there is nothing over here, and she's got to know that something funky is going on. And her her way of dealing with this actually is gonna. Send these Zerg and she's gonna try to attack the opening by basically by saying, Hey bomber, if you're gonna proxy me, well guess what? I know you don't have any defenses back home, so here I'm gonna send some Zerglings over to your base, and what are you gonna do about this? Great move by Scarlet, and uh, she actually has not expanded yet. She went for a very fast spawning pool to be able to pull this off. And uh, she's actually researching Zergling speed at the same time. So this is great for Scarlet. Gets the Zerglings inside the main base of the Terran player. And how much damage is she going to be able to do? One of these SCVs is actually very weakened here. If Scarlet could get those Zerglings over there, she could actually take it out. Meanwhile, at the front door, it looks like Bomber setting up a pseudo wall. Trying to make sure that more Zerglings cannot come in. As he now realizes that Scarlet has gone for a one base hatchery build. Going for these early speed Zerglings. And thankfully for Bomber really uh, bringing his forces back just in the nick of time and this is something that just kind of goes back to uh, being a pro gamer realizing all right yeah I've got some proxy barracks and yes I can do some damage but hey the enemy Zerg has gone for a one base speedling build I've got to make sure my, my home base is defended against that because otherwise I'm just gonna straight lose and so bomber really bringing his stuff back just in the nick of time gets a supply depot wall up and now he is safe um, rather than sorry and yeah it, it's 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 I think actually it's pretty close um, because effectively here you know bomber really he did go for uh, you know the double barracks build but he hasn't really hurt his economy all that much he only lost one SCV and uh, he's going for a macro CC at the same time so I actually think maybe bomber pulls out ahead here um, being that Scarlet didn't really get the natural expansion down, she is now getting it, but it is considerably late. Uh, I think all those factors combined, 
uh, kind of um, make it so that Bomber gets the upper hand here, uh, strangely enough. Um, but, you know, that th those little edges in the beginning, they can quickly change here in the hands of a good pro gamer. I would ex expect Scarlet here to go for a very fast third expansion. And if anything, you know, it might not be a bad idea to take the gold expo. Um, it'll be interesting to see wh what does a Zerg player do? Do they go down to the, uh, the jungle habitat down here and take an expansion down below? Or do they risk it and go for the gold expansion? Now, it looks like the gold has only six mineral patches. Um, whereas the blue expansion will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is a bit of a trade off. If you go for the gold, um, you don't necessarily make, you know, you do make a little bit more money than going for the blue, but not an insanely higher amount because um, there are less minerals to take advantage of. So uh, it is interesting, and, and I'm very, very curious here what. Um, what Scarlet is going to do. Um, I would imagine as Terran, you are definitely going to go for the gold because in Terran versus Zerg, minerals are infinitely more valuable than gas because you d you depend on them so heavily for Marines, for uh, Hellions. Uh, the, the staple, really, the backbone that supplies the Terran army is minerals, not really so much gas, uh, at least in Terran versus Zerg. So um, that's why a lot of times, you know, when you see a Terran player get the gold expansion up and they drop all those meals down, and then all of a sudden, all these Marines come out of nowhere. Uh, the reason is because, you know, they're so heavily dependent on minerals. And yes, yeah, Scarlet is going to go for the gold expansion. So there you have it. Now, I would imagine Bomber is going to take a glance up here. He wants to know if Scarlet's gone for the gold. And he sees it. Okay, yes, yeah, Scarlet has gone for the gold. So now, um, as Bomber, you can kind of contour your strategy a little bit. And uh, if you want to go for Siege Tanks or Banshees or something, I would imagine that would be pretty successful against this expansion. You get a tank right here, and then you bring a spotter unit up there. Um, it can certainly do some damage, um, but we'll see what happens. I, you know, the thing about tanks is they're a little bit old. They're a little, I hesitate to say this, but they are a little outdated in Terran versus Zerg. And, and because of that, they aren't that effective, um, you know, in your core army anymore. Um, in TVZ, so I don't know what I don't know what Bomber is going to do, but he is going to go for a meta back. And uh, I guess if he wants to, he could certainly ferry some units over to that expansion and do some damage. But here we go, some mutilists coming in, very quick mutas from Scarlet, ten minute mutas, and this is pretty amazing considering you know she went for the natural expansion so late. I don't think anybody expected to see this, and really what Scarlet did here was take advantage of the early gas she went for and just drop down a ton of gases and went for super quick mutas, catching Bomber and even me by surprise, and this is great for Scarlet. She's gonna take out the Medivac, no! The Medivac uh, uses his afterburners, getting a, a bit of an agility boost, is gonna be able to get out of there and not gonna go down, but I think Scarlet here doing some pretty good damage, and um, gotta be careful. Uh, she doesn't wanna lose these mutas, she's already killed off some forces, but she's gotta be careful. More Zerglings actually running through the front door here. Um, that's what those Marines are preoccupied with, and Scarlet really throwing everything at the front door of Bomber, but those Zerglings were not really that effective. Now she's going to be down to her Mutalisks once again. Now these Marines, they do have Stimpak, and you can see that Scarlet was trying to focus on taking out that Tech Lab so that the uh, the Marines don't get combat shields. Great plays here from Scarlet, once again continuing to keep the pressure on the front side of the uh, of the Terran base, or the back side of the Terran base, I should say. Uh, and she knows that this is kind of her opportunity here. She invested a lot to get these Mutas out at the 10 minute mark. Not what you'd expect it to see from a Zerg player. And she's got to get some serious damage done here. Now, has she done enough? She's actually about even with the Terran player. Um, and I'm looking at the income here. She's got about 10 more harvesters in the Terran as well. So I think it's it's kind of a wash here. Nothing to really say one way or another that she's got a huge edge over her opponent. But I, I think her mutas have done enough damage to justify their cost. And, and you can see that reflected in the fact that uh, Bomber here has had to invest some money into missile turrets. He's also had to leave some widow mines behind. And uh, now we're going to see what really uh, happens in the next few minutes. We can see that Scarlet here um, hasn't continued to produce more mutas, actually. She's only kind of used the initial wave kind of as an ambush attack. And now she's transitioning back down towards Banelings. And um, that is kind of the, the risk you run when you go for these really early mutas. You don't have much of a ground army. And now Bomber, I think, is going to look to take advantage of that. He's pushing into the middle of the field. And he is going to attack right into this gold expansion. And Scarlet has been able to mine a little bit out of it so he's been able to get some uh and she has been able to get some um you know some 
fruition out of her efforts here to mine at the gold expansion, but I think that's that bomber now is gonna be able to take it out, um, barring something that Scarlet, some type of miracle from Scarlet, because uh, a bomber is definitely gonna be bringing a lot of reinforcements here, and he's gonna look to punch a hole through this gold expansion. Um, and I'm actually surprised here. Bomber's Micro, not as good as I thought. There we go, some Marines coming through. Um, you'd imagine he would bring a Siege Tank. Like I said before, just having one tank here would be so helpful because you could start to shell the Gold Expansion down, but it doesn't look like Bomber is going to do that. And Scarlet here might be able to muster up a defense of her own. She's got some more Zerglings and Balin's here, and Balin's Speed about to kick in. And it looks like, there we go, it kicks in, and Bomber is going to have to pull back. And yeah, this is just one of those situations where I really feel like having a tank or two is just infinitely more valuable than going for, you know, the basic core composition of Marine Widowmine. Uh, plus two, plus two is on the way. No such upgrade yet from the Zerg, although he is, she is getting flyer attacks. So there you, there you go. And here comes those Banelings, gonna roll through. There is no creep spread to assist the Baneling speed, but it is it is gonna be enough Banelings here, I think, to do some serious damage. Although it looks like Scarlet losing most of her, um, you know, suicide warriors is gonna be forced to retreat here and maybe um, you know, take a few minutes to re remaster uh, her Baneling army before she goes in once again. Uh, but the thing about that attack is it pushes the Terran army back a little bit, gives this gold expansion a little bit of breathing room, but Bomber is gonna continue to apply the chokehold pressure and really gonna look to take out this gold expo. And, and this is what I said once again, this is the location where Terrans want to exploit Zerg. If the Zerg goes to the gold expansion, the Terran wants to take that out, but it looks like Scarlet here is gonna roll through and crash down upon the Terran army. Excellent job by Scarlet. And, and one thing I think sh that would really assist Scarlet here is, you know, get some creep spread down to this uh, jungle area right here in the center. If she can get a little bit of creep going here, she can really uh, fortify that position and make sure that no Terran forces come and, and bother the gold expansion while it's mining. In the meantime, Scarlet has continued to take expansions down south to the, towards the jungle habitation, I, I guess you could say. And so she's kind of said here, all right. I know eventually that this gold expansion is going to run out of money and it might even die to the Terran attack. So I'm going to take some expansions down south and make sure that I don't put all my eggs in one basket. And she's going to continue to uh, apply pressure here in the middle of the map. Very nice game here between these two players. A lot of back and forth action. And uh, right now it is down to the wire. Scarlet at 150 supply. Bomber at 145. Um, but Bomber is the one, I feel like he's the one who's applying the aggression. Um, and, and Scarlet here might want to think eventually about doing some of that herself, you know, applying a little bit of pressure back towards Bomber. Because right now it looks like Bomber is the one who has been aggressive all game long. Uh, and right now he's setting up for yet another attack here on this expansion, really utilizing this position here below that gold expansion and uh, pr uh, trying to elevate his marines once again up to the high ground to take out those drones that are mining at that gold. Needle is here going up to the top side. Will there be enough defenses here for Scarlet to hold off this next wave? Oh, Banelings detonating all over the place on that expansion. Great move by Scarlet, exactly what I was referring to before. She needs to be aggressive here in order to slow down and deter this Terran army. And uh, great play by, by Scarlet getting those Banelings around the backside. Now, gonna try to move in with her army while the Terran player is not mining healthily back at home and trying to get those Banelings in, but great spreading of the forces by Bomber, mitigating damage, allowing his Widow Mines to take out the Banelings, and Bomber, with minimal losses from those Banelings now, um, might be able to push up and take this gold expansion down because Scarlet has sacrificed a lot of her ground troops really to uh, really wasn't all that successful so I think Bomber here might have a chance to take out the gold expo you'll note there is another expansion coming down to the bottom right hand side of the map that is in the jungle habitation area I suppose as Scarlet realizes well this gold expansion probably gonna run out pretty soon whether it be from running out of minerals or just running out because the Terran will take it down so a uh, wise decision I think from Scarlet to take another expansion we do have plus three plus three on the way for the Terran army so soon Scarlet is going to be outclassed and uh, she is going to have to be very careful how she engages this Terran army once those upgrade finishes but she moves in once again taking out a chunk of the Terran army but not quite enough 
We do have some more Zerglings coming around the back left-hand side once again through the habitation area. This is what she did earlier with those Balings. It looks like she's going to find the soft underbelly of the Terran expansion yet again and is going to take out those easy pickings of SCVs. And like I said, exactly what she needs to do to keep the pressure on Bomber. Doesn't want to allow the Terran army to continue to be the aggressor here. And uh, once again, Bomber is still pushing forward. Has these Terran forces in a fantastic position. May need to pull back a bit because he is on the creep um, but he has lost mining at that expansion of course that is going to divert his reinforcements over to that bottom corner in order to protect and that will mean that these forces will not get the reinforcements they need and so scarlet is able to take out a sizable chunk of terran forces here on the creep but bomber is going to sneak on through with some freshly trained marines and they do have 3-3 three, three now, so they are quite deadly. And Bomber might be able to take this gold expansion down. Scarlet here has run out of ground fodder to absorb damage from these for these Marines. And I think Bomber here is going to be able to take that expansion. Very nice job by Bomber. Those Marine, those drones are going to have to run away. They don't have burrows, so they can't get underground. The gold expansion is going to fall, but. I think that Scarlet might have gotten maximal usefulness, uh, you know, maximum utility out of that hatchery. Most of the gold minerals have been basically run dry. Um, now, can she save her drones? It looks like she's going to lose most of them, unfortunately. Scarlet is going to come back here and try to take out these uh, Marines, and I'm surprised that Bomber isn't re retreating using the Metavax. Actually, he could lose all of his forces here, and he is going to, uh, I think, a misstep by Bomber after taking out the gold expansion he should have um you know used afterburners and evacuated his forces um and a, i think a bit of a mistake there by bomber because now you look at the supplies and scarlet you know he she did lose the expansion but she's got a new expansion down in the bottom right hand corner and she still has a supply lead over the terran army simply because she took out all the aggressive marines and marauders and a few medevacs as well so i think scarlet is still in an okay position she is going to go once again with these, um, you know, guerrilla warfare zerglings trying to take out these SCVs, preventing them from mining. And uh, just a brilliant game by Scarlet. But here comes Bomber. And this is, I guess, why he saved the gold, ex gold expansion. Save it for a rainy day. Saves it for when he needs it most. And right now, he definitely needs it most. He's going to start mining out of the gold. And this is where things get so tricky as Zerg. Because that gold expansion is going to quickly translate into a lot of Marines. A million man army is going to come out pretty soon here. Uh, and, and Bomber. He's gonna have meal. He's gonna have SCVs. Um, this gold expansion, you can see, fueling the income for the Terran army up to 1,500, and, and you know a lot of Marines are gonna start coming out here pretty soon. Scarlet needs to try to prevent this expansion from mining, and, and I think she realizes that. And uh, actually going to run these meters. Ah, oh, got to be careful getting caught by the reinforcing marines. And, you know, these fresh new marines are, you know, courtesy of that gold expansion. Scarlet needs to do something about that. She's already exhausted her gold expo. So she's not going to have the ability to, you know, have that gold income um, to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Terran army in the next couple of minutes. And that's a big problem here for the Zerg player. Uh, what is she going to do? Um, you can see Bomber here maneuvering himself getting all these fresh new marines and producing them 14 at a time really and scarlet now is realizing okay i need to take out this gold expo gonna send these mutas in and great job from her she actually finds an opening and actually bomber is attacking right now you know when you think he would be in all-out defensive position to make sure this gold expansion continues to mine i mean he's only got 20 scvs left he is gonna go for an attack this is so bold and risky and i i guess he wants to take out the double expansions down here in the bottom right hand corner but i don't know and i mean this is so risky for bomber his gold expansion is left completely unprotected scarlet could actually send a few zerglings up there and take him out he is she is going to try to defend here most of her bailings hitting home and it looks like she is going to have enough to take out these marines but bomber continuing to reinforce thanks to that gold expansion fueling these new marines and bomber i mean he's killed off most of the fodder units underneath he could actually take out this gold uh, this uh, expansion down here and it looks like he is going to be able to do so bomber with an attack for the ages i mean this was just so incredibly gutsy to, to call but he did it 
And, I mean, I'm so surprised Scarlet didn't send something to take out that gold expo while it was undefended. Uh, you would have thought she would have, but, but she didn't. And now she pays the ultimate price, she loses her expansion, and it looks like she might even lose the bottom one down here as well. Too many Marines at 3-3 three, three level upgrades. Scarlet doesn't have Hive Tech, so she can't get 3-3 three, three herself. She's relying solely on Tier 2, and she is going to lose two hatcheries. Bomber with an incredible play, and now Scarlet gonna try to do what she can to cut off the reinforcements and strand those Marines down in the bottom right hand corner, but uh, you know the damage has been done um, this is why you know that gold expansion can be so important for Terran and you can see now those meals and SUs only 20 really you know a third of the drones that Scarlet has but that's all that the Terran needs and now Marines are just running wild on the Zerg side of the map um, what will Scarlet do she needs to defend here pulling drones off the line and this is it she's got to make her hand, her hold she cannot allow this expansion to go down 35,000 to 28,000 resources have been lost already. These drones absorbing damage for the Mutas, doing what they can. And it looks like maybe Scarlet uh, will be able to defend at least a little bit. But Bomber continues to reinforce, powering his Marines over to that ledge in the middle of the map. And uh, this expansion is in some trouble. We do have four Banelings coming on the production tab. And Scarlet right now is going to have to treat those Banelings like gold. Because she has no way to deal with these reinforcing Marines. Those Banelings right there, she's got to try to hit home. Otherwise, she is in so much trouble. Supplies at 83 to 60. She's really not mining any minerals whatsoever. So this expansion here has to hold. And meanwhile, Bomber continuing to reinforce with more and more Marines from the gold expansion. And here here we go. Will those Banelings be able to connect? It looks like, uh, I mean, those Marines are pretty spread out, but she does clean them up. So Scarlet, once again, uh, you know, stands uh, tall and holds onto her expansion. She is just desperately trying to get some type of momentum going here. Um, but you'll note that Bomber himself, you know, he's only mining out of one expansion out of that gold expo. If that gold expansion runs out of money, Bomber too is going to be in a lot of trouble. He is going to be operating on fumes pretty soon. And look at this. Actually, he was mining out of this expansion as well. But Scarlet quickly dispatches some Zerglings over there to apply pressure on the expo. Very nice job by Scarlet. 95 supply to 76. But you can't help but feel that Scarlet is in trouble here because Bomber is fueling these Marines, which are at 3 3 from this gold expansion. Finally, Scarlet sends those mutas over there to apply pressure and try to take out the last bastion of the Terran economy. 47 Arbiters to 13 now. Marines falling back to defend the gold. And it looks like um, a lot of SCVs, I mean, so many have been killed off this game. There's only about 10 or so left remaining. But here are some Marines, and it looks like they might be able to take out the expansion. The last mining one for Scarlet. And will she be able to defend in time? No! The hatchery falls down, and Scarlet with a, a you know in a, you know in a lot of trouble right now. Bomber sacrificing a third of his Marines, but they pay huge dividends killing off that expansion because now the Zerg player has no mining bases, whereas Bomber has two, and. You know, if Bomber can just hold on to these bases and have them continue to mine, he should be okay. The only thing is, he's only got 13 workers, workers. so even though he's got two mining bases, really, he's only mining out of one. And it looks like these Midas are going to pick off the exposed expansion. Great job by Scarlet. Now, basically, pigeonholing Bomber into that one upper corner gold expo. Bomber right now actually has his Marines. He's got a lot of Marines. He's got about 55 Marines or so spread out across the map. Some of them defending, most of them hunting for more expansions. The only thing is there are no expansions down there. Scarlet is, is just, you know, she has no money, no minerals. She's just got about 15 Mutas flying across the map trying to do what damage she can. You can see 54 Marines are alive compared to 18 Mutas and 4 Banelings. So Scarlet is the only chance she's got here. She's got to take out these Marines in one chunk, two chunk type of uh, situation. And this is the first chunk. She's got to kill off these Marines here while the rest of the Marines are down here. And, you know, Bomber, I think, with the mistake, not combining, not having his Marines in one ball. Um, uh, and now he's actually lost a sizable chunk of his army. Very nice job by Scarlet. Exactly what she needs to do because she can't fight 55 Marines head on. So she can try to take out 20 at a time. And that's exactly what she does. Brilliant play. 
67 supply to 53 now this game the rubber match red bull battlegrounds new york it's only the group stage it's going down to the wire but what a phenomenal way to kick start casting once again for me and i can't wait to get back to casting more games i'll be having more excellent games just like this one coming out so make sure you guys stay tuned in here comes scarlet running in with these meters once again actually gonna go into the main base and take out some uh some buildings here but you know bomber he's not even if he loses these buildings it's not the end of the world really what you see on the field is what you get um bomber is basically not going to be mining anymore unless he sends his orbitals down to the bottom left hand corner uh, so it is interesting. We do have Burrow on the way here, and I do like the Burrow research from Scarlet because when you come down to a low economy game where you've barely got any forces alive, Burrow can help so much. It can keep you underground, regenerate HP, uh, avoid these Marines. Uh, and force Bomber into using Comsat, which he doesn't really have that many orbitals, so it's a limited resource for him as well. So I, I like what Scarlet's doing, getting Burrow here, um, and we'll see what happens. It looks like this expansion has been put out of commission, and uh, uh, we'll see here what you know uh, what happens in the last few minutes of this match. Uh, 20 harvesters to only three so yeah they are basically out of money and that gold expansion is almost dead um, and yeah it is done for now so those expos have lifted off and will bombers send those command centers to go mine somewhere else or will he just go for an attack it looks like he's just gonna go for it all of his marines here going in to attack the mutas and banelings of scarlet and will scarlet be able to hold oh burrowed banelings burrowed banelings scarlet with burrow researching just in time Freeing the trap on the Terran army and Bomber in full on retreat now. Bomber caught by surprise. Did not expect to see Burrowed Banelings there. And when he did, it was too late. And Scarlet, with that maneuver, might have just bought herself this game. She is now going to be able to launch an attack with impunity. And Bomber in so much trouble. He's actually down to only 30 Marines now. He had about 60. He lost about half of his, Mari half of his Marines in that engagement. And now the Muta's in the main base. Barracks are lifting off and trying to fly away and Bomber I think is just gonna have to say screw it I've got to attack. I can't defend Gotta just try to send these Marines in where are his medevacs there they are He's got to be careful not to overstim as well because that can uh, be deadly for those Marines And these mutas just picking off the remain of the remainder of the Terran base and here comes these Marines Oh, there are some more forces back here Scarlet has conglomerated all of her drones and queens and reinforcements into one ball, sending the Minas back home now, and these Marines are coming in. Oh! Burrowed Banelings once again! Burrowed Banelings once again, and that is going to be GG. Bomber is forced out of the game. Scarlet advances forward at the group stage, and uh, really, really great uh, 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 set of matches there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, once again, I will have a ton of games coming out for you guys this month. I'll be trying to do the, the highlights here from Red Bull Battlegrounds New York. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, once again, I am back and casting. So this is HD signing out.